Hey everybody, welcome to March. Excited that we finally got to the biggest month in all of college basketball. Tony Mejia here for Playbook Experts, playbooksports.com. You can find my work at pb.buzz slash tm. And we're going to go through what happened on Leap Day, Thursday, the final day of February, uh, where it was quite an eventful day. Some uh, regular season championships got clinched. And uh, the first and foremost among those was St. Mary's taking care of Pepperdine on the road in Malibu to make the matchup with Gonzaga this weekend a little less climactic. And I think they'll uh, really test themselves once again against their rival Bulldogs. But as far as the regular season championship goes in the WWWCC, uh, it is the Gales that have prevailed uh, and they defeated the uh, Waves convincingly, game got over in the closing minute, and uh, it made the San Francisco loss to Gonzaga moot. Those teams played at Chase Center. San Francisco gave Gonzaga a game for about 15 minutes, and then the Zags ran away and hid for the rest of the contest. Mark Few has them playing good basketball, but they will not win the West Coast Conference this season. The spoils go to St. Mary's. The other big uh, event on Thursday was Nebraska losing at Ohio State. It was an opportunity for the Huskers to pick up a quad one road win. They badly need that on their resume. So now I think they'll be sweating selection Sunday. They've got three regular season games left uh, and the conference tournament to get on the right side of the bubble, but let an opportunity slip away. Led early in that game in Columbus, ended up losing 80, uh, 78 to 69. Uh, as Ohio State won without Bruce Thornton. So the other game in the Big Ten was Rutgers crushing Michigan, beat them by 30. Uh, and Doug McMillan was in the mix on the road for the first time in months. It uh, didn't matter. Scarlet Knights uh, flexed their muscle. They're on the outside looking in as well and uh, and probably have to win the Big Ten tournament to get in the tournament, uh, the NCAAs this year. But uh, step in the right direction for them. Omaruyi had a huge game for the Scarlet Knights. Uh, we had uh, a big performance in the Pac-12 where Washington State moved one step closer to a conference title, edging USC despite a good game from Isaiah Collier. Uh, Kyle Smith has done a wonderful job and has to be in the running for National Coach of the Year for what he's done with the Cougs in the final year of the Pac-12 as we know it. Uh, and uh, UCLA had a tough loss in Seattle against Washington. It's the first time that Mick Cronin has ever lost to the Huskies since taking over in Westwood. He was uh, heard through, uh, through the door in the locker room yelling at his team uh, and has said that the rest of the season will be dedicated to seeing who deserves to stick around uh, and be part of the program next season. So hasn't been a smooth ride for Cronin and the Bruins. Utah took care of uh, their business and what they had to do defeating Stanford convincingly in Salt Lake City. Again, that's another team that uh, probably has to win the conference tournament to get to the NCAAs, but uh, certainly will be a threat if they play the way they did against the Cardinal. Uh, we had uh, College of Charleston move, uh, win the Coastal the CAA, 99 to 73, took a smackdown to Campbell. Uh, game got over. It, 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 pretty um, easily there, even though it was a high total. And the Cougars are your CAA regular season champs. Hofstra beating uh, UNC Wilmington certainly was uh, also a notable uh, occurrence in that conference. Uh, they're tight, uh, tight at the top there from two to four, uh, but Hofstra picked up a very ne much needed road win. And uh, again, the spoils go to the Cougs. College of Charleston, congratulations. Merrimack got their 10th victory in a row. They're looking like the uh, cream of the crop in the NEC. In the big sky, it was Eastern Washington picking up yet another win. 10-point victory over Montana. They're your big sky regular season champions. Uh, in the WAC, it was Grand Canyon snapping a two-game losing streak with a convincing win over uh, Texas Rio Grande Valley. And Tarleton State staying right with them picked up a – uh, convincing win uh, at Utah Tech, notching the cover. Billy Gillespie's team right there as far as a whack regular season title is concerned, despite the fact they can't make the NCAA tournament because they're still transitioning 
to Division I. Uh, and finally, in the Big uh, West, it was UC Irvine clinching a spot in the conference tournament semifinals. Looks like they're going to be the regular season champs, barring something unforeseen. Ant Eaters got the job done at Cal State Northridge, while UC San Diego, the team that was pursuing them, got upset at Cal State Bakersfield. Uh, finally, it was in Conference USA, Liberty keeping New Mexico State winless on the road for the season with a huge victory, notching a cover. I had that, um, was on the winning side of a lot of these last night at uh, Playbook Experts. You can get all of my picks there. Again, pb.buzz slash tm. And the free play that we gave out in the first of these videos yesterday was a winner, UC Davis. Got notched a 12-point win over Hawaii. They were a pick. Uh, they, they were a money line play for us. Laid uh, about one and a half, two, depending on where you got it throughout the day, and uh, won convincingly as the Aggies defeated the Warriors, who are now under 500 in Big West play. Let's get you another uh, free play for Friday, March 1st, and it's out of the MAC, the MAAC. And we're going to go to the MVP arena in C in Albany, where Siena and Manhattan will meet. You know, these these programs have had a putrid seasons. The uh, Jaspers are five and twenty, and the Saints are four and twenty-three. And I'm going to fade them both. I like the under on 137 and a half points be between Manhattan and Siena as the free play for Friday. We're not going to have one of these videos tomorrow. We'll uh, tie the whole weekend up with a nice bow on Sunday night, early Monday, and get you a free play for Monday night. Once again, join us at the Playbo uh, Playbook Experts uh, YouTube channel for football talk, NBA talk, college basketball talk. Join us at the site for lots of plays from all our experts. And again, you can get all of my work at pb.buzz tm. Once again, everybody, welcome to March. It's going to be a heck of a ride and uh, looking forward to sharing it with you and getting that money. Uh, again, Tony Mejia here, signing off.